So those that have been following my channel for some time know I'm no great DIYer. So deciding to do a video on painting, really, this is not an instructional video. This is just what I've learned, how I did it, and what I've learned over the period of time. And also it's mainly a video to help me watch the progress, etc., of Melly. And also maybe you're interested in watching the progress as well. So anyway, the painting of a old motorhome. Okay, so before we paint, there's a lot of preparation, a few little repair jobs, etc., to do. I'm going to take off all the, I don't know what it's called, it's called rims. Uh, I don't know what the technical term is, but they're all over the place. They're just held in by screws. I'm going to take all these off. Then I'm going to sugar soap, sugar soap, sugar soap the walls, uh, and then smash some paint on it. Get excited at times now. terminal it's only held in by these two screws top right top left so I'm taking it off just so I can paint behind it so another day another paint job just checking on the the walls here and it, it's it's trying really well I don't think the camera's bringing out the color but it, it just looks a lot cleaner a lot fresher the color test on the wood again doesn't really clear but what it does tell me is I do need to prime the wood or it's just the wood's gonna feed through so I can't cut any corners so on all the forums and all the websites they said to sand and prime the wood so this is gonna take a lot longer than I thought I've decided to take the doors off the cupboard doors off and take the handles off and then paint and treat the doors what I'm also thinking of doing is each one's got these like gaps I actually fill them in sand them down Get more smooth professional finish. Oh, I might just throw paint on. Uh, we'll see how it goes. See how I do for 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 time. Uh, time is is limited, as everyone knows. I don't have a huge amount of spare time. Uh, so it's balancing up, doing a good enough job, uh, but not cutting too many corners, and also trying to do it much on the cheap as I possibly can. Uh, loads of recommendations on very expensive paint, but I've gone with what I think is well-priced, reasonably quality paint. You know, the paint's £18. I think the primer was twenty twenty two for a tin. So I'm trying to keep all my costs down in line with the channel and also in line with the fact that I'm tight, frugal, don't have huge much money to spend on the motorhome so the whole idea was to do everything as much under budget or as budgety budget yeah it's good enough english and this isn't it then i possibly can so keeping all the costs down uh let's see what the finished product looks like when you go slightly cheaper than what all the recommendations are but at the same time it's a it's a big job <laughs> it's going to take more than i thought it was going to take 
Okay. Quite rusty hinges. Any ideas how I, I'm going to take these off, but is there any solution that I can put in that will bring these up to looking new? Answers in the comments. Okay, so I'm removing the cupboard doors. Just so I can keep track, what I'm doing is I'm just putting a little number where the hinge is, numbering them so I know one, two, three, four, which cupboard. I think they're all the same, but I thought, why not? Okay. Call me a perfectionist. Darren, you're a perfectionist. But uh, so far, so good. These doors are coming off a lot easier than I thought they were. I thought I was gonna have some problems. He says, probably speaking too early, there's gonna be some rusted screws. It looks like these have never come off since the motorhome was built. A lot of rusty screws, hinges, etc. I think once I take these screws out, put the screws back in again, does that mean they're going to be weak holes? Is that a term? You carpenters out there, do you get a weak hole? <laughs> you know, if you take a screw out of a piece of wood, I don't know. But, uh... Alright, so we're at the sugar soak stage, sugar soak. And what I've got is got this dial ready to use sugar soak cleans all services prior to painting, removes grease, dirt and nicotine. Well, I'm also going to take off all the handles. I haven't decided what we're going to do with the handles yet. I could paint them a different colour or leave them wood. I haven't thought about it yet. I do want the handles to be different colour than the cupboard doors. Oh, certainly that's what I'm thinking at, at the moment. I was thinking about replacing them all again it's a huge cost a lot of faff and trying to keep the cost of all the repairs with Melly down as cheaply as possible so i may just sand these down and then i'll paint them a different color I haven't quite worked that out yet that's the finishing touches so as you can see i mean we give Melly a bit of a paint but i think this is it's just rank this is just disgusting and i'm going to clean the inside of the cupboards as well even though we're not going to paint it makes sense to just to give them a clean and this is where i've marked each cupboard number so i know where they're going to go and i think it's the sanding is going to be a pain i mean sugar soaping it's not a problem uh you can see it's all coming up quite clean and it's going to look great for the summer for 2023 so if you do see us at any festivals please come up and say hello and come and check her out but i'm just sugar soaping in the doors in the front and this should make it easier for the paint to kind of hold on and then once we're going to sand it wipe it down again and then prime it so there's quite a, quite a fair bit of work involved so I'm hoping the finished product looks good. But yeah, that's just the sugar shaping cleaning the wooden door. So I've roughed the wood up. That's what it says. That's why I want to say rough it up a bit. Make sure it's rough. So everything's been wiped down, everything's been sanded. Now just need to prime everything. Is it prime, we call it? So what I've got is uh, this stuff from b and It's multi-purpose primer, good home. It was like 22 pounds, I think, for a whole tin. And that's the priming done. Uh, 
uh, <laughs> two long hard days of getting everything stripped off, stripped out, unscrewed, unbolted, sanded down, painted, and uh, oh, sorry, primed, you know, washed down. So yeah, two hard days, and I feel like I haven't done a huge amount. But uh, I'm going to leave that video, this video here. Uh, if you want to follow the progress, then please click subscribe, like this video, comment below any other tips you have. If you've painted your motorhome, uh, any advice you can give would be muchly appreciated. And uh, till the next time, till the next video, and uh, let's see how many progresses. And uh, that's your next time. Don't forget, click subscribe, comment, blah, blah, all that kind of stuff. Especially the like button. YouTube seems to like that. It doesn't cost you anything to subscribe, but it makes me happy. Thanks a lot, guys. Ladies, friends of YouTube. Catch you later.